The Exim Dance Company have been incredibly busy through the lockdown period, providing free dance and well-being services, supporting over 500 vulnerable people on a weekly basis. But now they need your help to carry on helping the community. Let's from Exim hear from Laura and Chloe this morning, so we can all get used to each one's voices. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. How are you? Okay. Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Very well, thank you. Uh, all the better for hearing you. And um, we got your friend Chloe on uh, another line as well. Hi, Chloe. Hi, yeah. All well with you? Yeah, all good. <laughs> do, do you want to say hello to Laura? Hi, Laura. You alright, Chloe? <laughs> Saves so phoning each other, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Shall we start with you, Laura, with the, with the first question? Tell us about Exim and, and what you've been doing during lockdown, please. Yeah, of course. So Exim Dance Company, um, before lockdown, was um, providing a number of services, the wellbeing and dance sessions, um, and a number of other kind of services in terms of um, roles, leadership roles, in terms of apprenticeship, internships. Um, employability for, for local uh, dance artists, but we have a number of projects with many different partners that are prime focus is very much supporting um, young people with free services um, and particularly those with mental health, low confidence and um, coming from disadvantaged backgrounds um, and, and potentially maybe that first person to complete school, go to college, go to university so, you, so we, we provide a number of pathway programmes and because of those that we work with, we wanted to really ensure that we were still um, trying to provide as much as of, of a service as possible through lockdown, um, given the circumstances. And, and we, we know how much um, young people um, really value and need the services. And it's, it's not just about the dance, it's very much about the social aspect and that routine in place for them as well. Isn't that wonderful? And where are you based, Laura? So we, we've actually just moved down some of our old studio just because um, in terms of not being able to be there at the moment and we're looking for something um, in terms of longer lease. So it's um, quite exciting. We're looking at new properties at the moment um, and it's all a little bit top secret at the moment because you and I do an official announcement when we move in there in September. So oh, go on. You can, you can give me a scoop. You it. can tell me. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I can say is it's a bit Plymouth um, and there's lots of exciting things to come with it. <laughs> That's lovely. Chloe, a lot of people wouldn't associate uh, a dance company such as yours and, and the work that you're doing with so many people. It's, it's just wonderful. Yeah, I mean, we really enjoy doing the work we do as well. Like, it's not just for us, um, it's for the young people too. So our prime ethos as a company is to continue supporting the community we live in and the young people we work with daily and just to remove any barriers so we just believe in inclusivity and accessibility as well for all of those around and it must cost a lot of money to put this on yeah i mean mine and laura's primary job is to keep bringing in funding we just want to remove those financial barriers as well so yeah and obviously person and homes with the team that we applied for so very excited does it give you personally Chloe, a, a sense of achievement as, as to how you can change people's lives? Oh, absolutely. When you look back um, and you speak to some of the young people that maybe you've been working with from a very, very young age and you see them going off to university or achieving a dream that they really believed they couldn't when they were younger, it's such a joyful thing to see and it's such an experience and I do love the work we do and I look forward to doing it every day. And it's not just that, Laura, is it? Because you've been nominated as a finalist in a competition. We have. Um, something that we really didn't expect. It was um, one that we'd quite honestly been applying for for a good two years and never really heard anything back. And then I got the phone call at the end of last week to say that we were a finalist. Um, and then it was all going live on Monday. Um, and with that, we were one of three um, organisations from the South West being the only dance company in the UK. So, yeah, we, we feel really privileged, um, but it, it's a very kind of tough one. We need to make sure that we have the public and our supporters very much kind of helping us with a chance of winning one of the three prizes. So there's there's £20,000, there's £50,000 and £100,000, and there's three strands being sports, um, arts and education, which is the strand that we're with, and then health. Um, and, it, you know, it's one of them because everybody that's in the finalist um, are fantastic organisations and are all doing wonderful things. So, 
you kind of you're happy whoever gets it. Um, but yeah, we we you know in terms of what it would do for us um, coming you know out of COVID to mm. ensure that we can keep carrying on and uh, providing our services for free because everything that we do in terms of the young people, there's no charges for anything we're doing. We we really just want to keep ensuring that we're able to continue to do that um, when we, you know when we do officially come back to doing our face to face delivery. And, and the prizes on offer to, to fund projects for, for work with children, which is wonderful. Can we all can we all have a little vote on your behalf, Laura? Of course, yes. Yeah. So it's really, really simple. It's actually one of the easiest ones we've ever um, been a part of. We've been lucky to be buying ourselves. So it's on all of our social media and um, where you can find it on X and Dance, or you can go directly to the Permission Home um, website to find this. And it's literally, you scroll down, you find X and Dance Company, and you click on the orange button. No personal details are needed. Um, and you are able to vote um, every day. You just need to allow for 24 hours in between each time you vote. Um, so we are trying to really push that as well as people do try to keep that voting day for us. Set yourself an alarm, you know, so you know. Come <laughs> up <and> don't <laughs> That's cheeky. And, and Chloe, uh, is it similar to find out more about the the company and you know if if there are further sponsors, people looking maybe to get involved with a group, be a great time for you, wouldn't it, if that happened? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's just a good opportunity again to, like you just said, publicise the company. And a bit like Laura said, obviously it's on all of our social media, so people can find out about all the wonderful work Exxon does on there. But it's also on our website as well. So if people want to check us out, um, it's www.eximdance.org.uk. And just to confirm for everybody, E X I M, the spelling of the Exim Dance Company. Laura, Chloe. Good luck with everything. Will you keep us up to date, please, with Thank how you, you progress? Yeah, yeah, we will do. Thank you. Uh, lovely to speak with you, and uh, good luck with everything, especially the competition. Great work you're doing. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for having me on. You're very welcome, you. both of you. Laura and Chloe from the Exim Dance Company. What a great story.